Hey everybody, Rick here at Arizona High Desert Homestead. I'm gonna make this one quick. Uh, that uh, truck from the last video, talk about the movers coming. Now they finally got here. Uh, I'm 17 miles in, and they didn't seem to, they knew well where they were going to. My wife set it up and showed GPS coordinates and everything. They were only like a half a mile from here and they didn't want to go anymore. Uh, finally, I jumped on the side by side and grabbed the driver. I used to be a truck driver, so I, I understand, you know, get a little freaked out, but it's, there's semis come up here all the time. So anyways, wanted them all the way up by my storage container, but he thinks that little S curve I just went through, which isn't even that much. Uh, he didn't want to take his truck through there. And I respect that. That's fine. You know, it's just going to make it a little more difficult for us. But at least our, our stuff is here. Um, but I wanted to share something. That guy's the driver's helper. He's taking pictures, you know, looking around. Because he said, no one's going to believe this. And I said, what do you mean? Does somebody want to live up here, you know? And I don't think he knew there's actually a lot of people that live up here. There's almost 500 lots. Um, you know, a lot of people own multiple lots. We own two. I know some people own four. More than that. Three. I like to buy the two behind me. Anyways, he's taking pictures and he, and he said, I just got one question for you. I said, sure. And he goes, why? And I said, why here? And he said, yeah. And I said, you know, right off the bat, I'm like, well, I just wanted to get away from it all, you know, and got a really beautiful chunk, big chunk of property for, you know, 80 acres for the amount of money that I spent on this. I probably couldn't buy a couple acres up in uh, north of Seattle there, um, Bellingham. It's just gotten outrageous. And I, I was thinking about it as I'm taking these trips in the side by side, side, you know, hauling stuff up there. My son's using the truck. And I should have responded to him because this is kind of how I feel. I love this area. A lot of other people love this area. And I should have said, why not? Instead of giving excuses, why not? It, it's it's beautiful. I love it. So, anyways. Yeah, they got that semi up here. My son's already hauled a bunch. I guess you guys are out of New York. Like it might be done. Pause this and be right back. All right, jumped into the wife's vehicle. Guy wanted me to lead him out. It's back in your ways. Once he gets to the main road, though, it's not a problem. But I don't know. They broke a lot of our stuff to put in a claim and stuff. Um, I don't remember the name of this company. The wife set it up, but the helper was good. The driver, uh, I'm professional. I just kind of wanted to ramrod it right through like oh don't worry about it, don't worry about it just take a picture you know sign this sign this basically saying there's no damage so i just scribbled something um wasn't for me anyways it's the wife so we're gonna contest a large amount of that you know not to get not to you know get away with anything but well, they damaged a lot of our stuff and um i actually did write it on the paper too so there's a lot to go through they really really made a mess so maybe if he turns again i'm just gonna let him find his way out because it'd be stupid for me to follow uh, looks like he's slowing down be right back okay kind of leading him out a little worried Let's see if i can see him in there yeah there he is look at this evening Okay, so we've got to wrap this up in a little epilogue. Like the guy had asked me was why. And there's not any only one answer. And the best way I can say is why not. But here's 
little little touch on a longer answer. Um, I want to grow my own food. I I want to raise my own animals. Um, society is so close to any small thing happening, and it affects millions of people. I want to be in control as much as possible of my own my own life. You know, shelter, food, water, all that stuff, happiness. Um, I, I love it up here. I, I wish I would have. I wish I could have raised my kids up here years ago. All my kids are are long grown. I got three in their thirties and three in their twenties and ten grandkids. But I want to build this place up so if anything does happen, um, my other kids that aren't here, grandkids, they will always have a place to come to where they'll be able to garden raise animals for food, you know, in an ethical manner. I want to know where my meat comes from. Um, a lot of people say, oh, I just don't, don't worry about that. Just go to the store. You don't know what that, what those animals have gone through. You don't know anything uh, of what, what goes on with all of that. They'll say cage free or range and uh, range raised or whatever. Free range. There we go. Um, but no, it's it's hard work, but it's healthy, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'll take this a million times over living in a city. Um, people are just going crazy everywhere, and it just gets worse and worse all the time. And I love it here. So why why not? Yeah. All right. I want to thanks for to everybody. Give thanks to everybody. Uh, thank you to the new subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. I want to really build this this channel up for my my grandkids and stuff. Um, I want them to be able to come and visit all the time. I want them to come and live here. <laughs> That's the goal. Grandpa will bribe. Um, anyways, I hope you all are doing great, and I hope you all have a good night or morning whenever you see this video. And uh, thanks for watching. If you can hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, it would really help me out. And share and hit that notification button. So, all right, everybody, have a good one. And I'll be back at another day.